today we're going to learn about probability word problems. Let's say we have a problem, like, when three coins are flipped together, then what is the probability that all three coins are heads? Now it says that three coins are flipped together, so that means there are three coins. This is coin one, this is coin two, and this is coin three. Now, let's say, now when coin one is flipped, we have two possibilities, a heads or a tails. So, when coin one is flipped, we have two possibilities. When coin two is flipped, we also have two possibilities, heads or tails. And when coin 3 is flipped, we also have two possibilities for coin 3. When we flip coin 3, we can either get a heads or a tails. Now, let's multiply 2 with 2 with 2. Because when we multiply 2 with 2 with 2, then we get the total number of outcomes of the three coins when they are flipped together. So 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So there are 8 possible outcomes. Let's go into detail about how we get 8 possible outcomes. So. We have an equal number, we have an equal chance of getting heads or tails for coin 1. So, and there are 8 outcomes. So, let's divide 8 by 2. We get 4. So we have 4 heads and 4 tails. Let's write those out. Heads, 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 tails, 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 tails. Now for coin two, we, for coin two, there's an equal chance of getting a heads or tails. But this time, instead of dividing by two and getting four and four, let's get two heads, two tails, two heads, and two tails. So two heads, two tails, two heads, two tails. Now coin three, when you flip coin three, you have an equal chance of getting a heads or a tails. But this time, instead of getting four heads, four tails, or two heads, two tails, two heads, two tails, let's get heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, and heads, tails. So heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, and tails. So, we have eight possible outcomes. This is outcome one. Whoops, let's not circle that. This is outcome one, heads, heads, heads. Outcome two is heads, heads, tails. Outcome three is Heads, tails, heads. Outcome four is heads, tails, tails. Outcome five is tail, heads, heads. Outcome six is tails, heads, tails. Outcome seven is tails, tails, heads. And outcome eight is tails, tails, tails. Now, we need to find the probability that all three coins are heads. Let's look at choice one, or option one. In option one, we have three heads. So, let's circle this. This is one of the options that has all three coins as heads. Option two does not, because it has one tail. Option three does not, because it has one tail. Option four does not, because it has two tails. 
Option 5 does not because it has one tail. Option 6 does not because it has two tails. And option 7 does not because it has two tails. And option 8 does not because it has three tails. So that means that the only option out of these eight outcomes, the only outcome that has all three coins as head is outcome one. So there's only one outcome out of the eight outcomes. So that means that the probability of getting three heads is one over eight. One over eight. about probability word problems. Thank you for watching this video.